All right. This is uh, commonly referred to as Rust-Oleum paint job. Uh, this is a 97 Ram. Uh, it's got 140,000 miles on it. And didn't want to put a lot of money into it. So the plan is to just get it, get it as good looking as possible. Um, I'm keeping it the same color black. So it shouldn't be too terribly difficult to cover. But uh, hey, you never know. This is the first time we're doing this. Uh, I sanded it with 320 on my uh, orbital and uh, prime that doesn't have a lot of bad spots has typical dodge fenders in the back these look like they were really bad but they really weren't I mean they had some holes in them but uh, bonded them up and that's just spot putty on them and uh, they should be good to go the prime I got I got a wet sand them yet Right now I'm masking them off. I had to take that back window out. Um, you know, the way I look at it is if the truck died tomorrow, uh, I didn't put that much money into it as far as paint goes. <laughs> the plan is, like I said, to use the Rust-Oleum. Um, I'm going to use the top side, gloss black. Um, that has a UV protection in it, and that way I'm not going to clear coat it if I don't have to. Uh, the beauty of this stuff is is that um, you know if it uh, starts to fade or something like that, I can always redo it. I'm spraying this. Actually, going to be using. I don't know if you can see it under there, but it's a Harbor Freight. Uh, HVLP gun Hopefully it'll shoot through there. I've never used it before. It's been in the box since I bought it. I did the bumper in uh, Hammered black That's all set so I have to mask all that off uh, It does have a nice finish to it when it's Done as anybody would who's used that stuff before knows it's got a nice uh, solid finish to it But yeah so like I said, I have 320. Uh, the mix is going to be, I took it off of, uh, I'll be using a mix that uh, DIY Nation used. He's been a lot of help. Uh, I watch his videos over and over. It doesn't have too many of them up, but uh, it's probably going to be five parts paint, two parts acetone, and 0.3 parts of Hardener. I'm going to use hardener on it. Hopefully that will gloss it up even more. And because we're in October here, I don't have a lot of time left and for it to cure. Um, so I want to get it out the door as quick as possible. I still have other parts as you can see over here. I have a fastback that I've started the wet sand. Got a tailgate that uh, obviously I have to get on there as well. It's been sanded out, it just needs to be. And back there, I have a uh, piece that should go on top of the cab. As you can tell, my shop's a mess. But I will. Uh, I'll keep you updated. I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna finish off the masking and then uh, try to get it painted. Uh, tomorrow and I'll let you know how it looks out. It looks uh, comes out But uh, yeah, we'll see how it works Talk to you later. Bye-bye